Honoring the sacrifices of military spouses is the reason why the award for Military Spouse of the Year was started. People can currently vote for who they think it should be for 2024, in other words, this year. WJCL 22 News' Lydia Blackstone has the story of a Savannah native and a Coast Guard wife who has been nominated. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Military families make so many sacrifices. Being a military spouse, I feel like you are the rock of the home. Shayna Worski is a Coast Guard wife. She met her husband Joel in Savannah when he was stationed at Hunter Army Airfield. From there, we just kind of hit it off and we got married May of 2009. Their adventure began having two children, Cameron and Connor, moving to Alaska, Florida, and now in North Carolina. We move every three to four years. Um, and I've made it a point to dive right into the community as soon as we move to a new place um, because I know how lonely it can be. The Worskis currently are stationed in Elizabeth City with plans to move back home to Richmond Hill. But we'll be celebrating 15 years of marriage this May. So um, and he'll be retiring this summer after 22 years of active duty service. So that's really exciting. Shana was nominated to be AFI's Military Spouse of the Year, which honors the sacrifices of service members, husbands and wives. When I was nominated, it was very humbling because it's not just that you are in the running for earning it for your district or for the base, the national level, all those things, but it's an incredible community of other military spouses. Shana says the encouragement and support has overflowed Load. She now wants to give back to the branch that has become a backbone to their family. It's It's been a blessing, and part of me hopes my son wants to join the Coast Guard one day. In Savannah, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News. And to vote for Shannon, you can just go to our website, wjcl.com, and show it'll show you how you can support her.